Okay, so taking a look at high temps across the country today. Clearly, the cold is not across the eastern U.S. Now, it is definitely chilly in New England, but despite temperatures lingering in the 30s, we're actually still slightly above normal in Westfield. I mean, it's winter time; it's January. We should be talking about temperatures that are, you know, being seen right now across the northern plains. There's no huge dramatic Arctic outbreak, which is unusual for this time of year. Usually, there are some headlines. Now, North Dakota is the coldest spot. They have some teens right now for high temperatures so far today and 30s are dipping all the way down you know into parts of the uh, high terrain the Rockies across New Mexico and Arizona which is also kind of typical but then you have 70s to low 80s across the Gulf Coast into Florida and you know 70 in DC today. Now tomorrow's high temperatures don't really shift much. It stays warm in the south and the southeast temperatures. I do not think we're going to hit 57 in Springfield tomorrow. The New England temps are still very tricky, especially here in the valley. The cold remains locked in the north and doesn't seem to be coming our way anytime soon. And looking at the jet stream, uh, the big, you know, the polar vortex, the thing that gets all the, the talk this time of year is remaining very strong right now. So that cold remains locked across the Arctic. Meanwhile, the Pacific coast is just dealing with one storm after another. You can see how this thing just keeps pinwheeling. So they are dealing with, you know, the storminess and the cold. Meanwhile, we are continuing to trend near and above normal. Now, temps are definitely going to come closer to normal over the next week. So that's a change compared to last week. Tomorrow is still going to be mild, of course, by January standards. We're going to be in the 40s, I think. And then we'll have some days in the 30s, some days in the low 40s. Still trending, you know anywhere between five and 10 degrees above average. And looking at the eight to 14 day temperature outlook, it's not really expected to change much. Even the West will start warming up a little bit. Uh, it looks like the Midwest will stay warmest, but we still have a decent shot. We're leaning in that direction. Not a lock for warm temperatures. There is some talk that there could be a bit of a pattern shift toward the second half of the month or toward the end of the month. This actually takes us out through January 16th. And in terms of precipitation, pretty typical. We're kind of leaning in a wetter than normal direction, but overall, it looks like we're going to stay pretty close to normal. And we do have some rain falling out there right now. We've got one back coming through now, but there are several more headed our way. So we've got our future cast showing light and variable breezes out there tonight. Temperatures are going to slowly and steadily climb through tomorrow morning. We'll have another little batch of rain coming through close to midnight, but overnight we see things kind of die down a little bit. Looks like a fairly dry start to our Wednesday. Another batch of showers will come in toward Wednesday evening, uh, so it's not a washout, but it is still going to be overcast and cool. Then we go into Thursday, not a washout here either, but patchy drizzle will be an issue. Freezing drizzle up around the Route 2 corridor. And then we'll have just a couple of occasional showers on Friday, but as colder air comes in with an upper level low, we could actually see a few rain or snow showers. Highs will be in the 30s to end the week, and then we're going to hover around 40 over the weekend with finally some vitamin D coming our way for Sunday. It looks dry early next week, but there are hints that we could get a storm system toward the end of the week that could bring a chance for some wet or wintry weather. Back to you guys. All right, Jana, thanks. Now, many.